Hi dolls and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a review on the Kylie Cosmetics um, her eyeshadow palette in one of her highlighters. I only got one of each. I didn't want to really get a whole bunch not knowing how I was going to feel about it. Since there have been so many mixed reviews, I really wanted to try it for myself at this point and just really figure out was it worth it, was it not. So if you guys want to know what I think, stick around. But real quick, if you guys are not already subscribed, please do and hit that little notification bell so you guys are informed when I do put a video up. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will put my social media information somewhere up here. And it is also down below. If you guys want to follow me on there, I would love to have you guys part of my family on my Instagram and my Snapchat. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into my review on these beauties. Okay, so I created this look using the Burgundy palette. It does come with the mirror and it has these beautiful nine shades I used. Today I used this one as my, just to go all over my eye to set my primer. I use this color in my crease, as well as this just on the outer a little bit and a bit in the crease just to give it some depth. And then I use this gold one. I will name, oh, I thought I nicked it. Oh, I did. Oh. I will put the name of every eyeshadow in, in the order that I use it down below just to kind of save time on this video. But um, yeah, so the pigmentation, oh, and I did use this little reddish reddish moonish one too. The pigmentation on the eyeshadow palette on this one, I was quite impressed. It blended out well. It had beautiful color. The, the payoff as well. Well, um, the pigmentation is insane. Way better than what I expected. Even the shimmer is pretty decent. And I am huge on my shimmer. So anybody who has been watching my channel for a while knows but I love shimmer and I feel like I'm probably a little harsher on it just because I expect so much out of it. But this this beauty right here, I do love. I do think I will purchase her other one that she has that looks like this. That's like more nudes. Um, the color variety, I think is really pretty. You can create a lot of looks, especially this time of year with it being fall and everything. I feel like you can, you can really make a lot of beautiful fall color. Um, looks but also I think that you can also kind of move this into more different seasons these pretty little golds and things like that I feel like they'll be great for more of a winter like holiday and Christmas season um look I really I'm really am impressed um they're beautiful colors they're blend out quite well let's get a better one of that and um for the price, I mean, they're like 40 bucks, I think. These are the ones that I use. They swatch beautifully. I probably should show you guys. There's not much left on my fingers. But um, yeah, I mean, the colors are beautiful. They swatch amazing. They blend well. I think it's like 40 bucks, though. Do I feel like 40 bucks is a bit much? Probably, but because who she is, I feel like people expect a higher priced item. I would really um, love to see where she goes with her eyeshadows. If she comes up with anything different um, and whatnot. But yeah, so let's get into her highlighter. Now the highlighter that I got is in, oh, in the packaging. I'm sorry guys, the packaging. I love the packaging. Simple, but but definitely unique and different because you don't see stuff like this all the time. Wanted to get that. And the names are on the back. Uh, so the pack, the highlighter, I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a peachy cream, cream color. And then on the back, it just says the name. And it's salted caramel. It does come with the mirror. And it's sticking with the theme of the front of her highlight eyeshadow palette. It has the, I mean, it's really pretty. The color's pretty. The pigmentation's there, but when I put it on my skin, I felt like it kind of just sat on it. 
I used my beauty sponge, which is I've been using my L'Oreal, and I had to kind of like press it into my skin quite a bit for it to kind of just like melt into my skin more. With every highlighter, I do do that. Um, so for me, it's just part of my normal routine when it comes to makeup. But for this one, I just felt like it was really just sat on the skin when you blended it in. It didn't really like just melt into the skin at all. It didn't just blend in like a lot of other highlighters that I do use. It is a pretty color. It's got, I mean, it's definitely there. It's definitely popping. But I do feel like the formulation could be fixed a little bit on this one just so it does get into the skin a little easier and doesn't just look like it's setting and you really gotta, you know, push it in and blend it in more to the skin. But for the most part, it's, you know, it's not bad. I think this is $22. I will link it down below. Honestly, guys, I waited. She had a sale. And that's when I bought it because I didn't really know if it was worth spending full price for. So I bought it when it was on sale. I think she did like a Labor Day, Labor Day sale. That's how long I've been holding on to these guys. But, um, yeah, I will link all the information down below for her website with each of these, um, links in there so that you guys can go check it out for yourself and see other stuff that she has Ooh. Ooh, excuse me um but yeah so that is it guys i just wanted to give you guys a quick little review if you guys have any other products that you guys would like me to review or do a video like a tutorial or makeup that you guys would like me to buy to do like a haul and give you guys my first impressions on those um, let me know down below. So yeah, I have nothing else to say, but I love you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.